Minasan, konnichiwa! We are back today with a new update on the Japan travel ban. There are finally some updates on the borders reopening to some categories. But if you want to understand the speed of the Japanese government in reopening the borders, I have this for you. Actually, that's even too fast. But let's talk about what happened this week. First, we heard that Japan will let in 87 government-sponsored students who need to attend in-person classes in order to graduate. The Japanese government considers those 87 individuals out of 146,960 waiting students as high value and national interest. That's why they make this exception. These students allowed to enter, by the way, are only the 0.1% of the students waiting. 0.1%. Also, we have received several confirmation that short stay post visas are now given, at least in certain countries. It is unclear if every Japanese embassy abroad is issuing those visas, but we received confirmation, for example, the German or the Spanish one are doing it. Please contact your local embassy about your case and let me know in the comments if you can finally enter Japan with a short stay pass visa. Everything is still so slow and hundreds of thousands of students, researchers, workers, couples are still left in limbo without a plan. But I think there are reasons to see the glass half full this time, or at least, let's say, a quarter full. First, we were not expecting a reopening for families and max students so quickly. While we thought we had to wait until uh, March, at least for anyone to be able to enter. If you remember, when they closed the borders in early January 2021, it took about, I think, six months for MEC students to be able to enter. Uh, well, this time the announcement for MEC students came less than two months from the last time the borders were closed. Second, from the news we have received, it seems that there are actually talks right now about accepting privately funded students. So I think it's a matter of time uh, but we should hear some positive updates also for privately funded students. I still think that it will be a slow process and they won't just open the borders to all the 146,000 students waiting, but I hope at least we will be getting some more students in Japan soon. The business world in Japan is also uh, getting louder together with media. Um, criticizing the government decision on the borders. I showed last week Mikitani CEO of Rakuten and this week also Yamada-san CEO of Mercari, which is the Japanese largest community powered marketplace where you can sell and buy pretty much everything. Um, Yamada-san shared this article that is asking if the Japan's reputation is falling apart since many people are now hating Japan and switching to South Korea. As I said, since one year ago that this was going to happen. Kishida-san, listen. Another article says those who have been shut out cannot hide their disappointment in Japan. Foreign newspapers criticize Japan's overly strict entry restrictions. Those who want to come to Japan feel betrayed. In general, I think we have noticed that the patience of many people also in Japan is reaching the limit, so I expect more people to talk about those meaningless political restrictions soon. One initiative I'm directly working on is to prepare a report on how the Japan travel ban has affected your life and then share it to media in and out Japan. If you are an international student who is waiting to enter Japan or has cancelled, please fill this questionnaire. The link, as everything else I talk in this video, is in the description. It is anonymous and no email is required. It is very important we receive as many replies as possible to get more media attention. This questionnaire focuses on students. I apologize uh, for these specific activities to workers, families, couples. Uh, I'm working on the side also on other activities that include other video categories. After you fill the questionnaire, please help me sharing this video and the questionnaire. As always, thank you very much to all of you for your support. That's everything for today. As always, even if things are very difficult and uncertain, please stay positive. If you are a student watching, please don't forget to fill the questionnaire and I'll see you all in the next video. Matane!